know, Mammoth is always going to be part of me because I lived here, my daughters were born here, and my girls went to school here, and we'll come back and visit. And I, But I tell people that I was going to come back, I'm glad I fulfilled my promise to come back. And, you know, it's been fun, and a lot of people has been very, and they, they keep telling me, welcome home, which is nice. You know, uh, training at altitude is, is challenging, it makes you hurt, but I then you know that at sea level it's going to be a lot easier, and when you build a red blood cell here, it's going to allow you to carry more oxygen, so you know you have that insurance, and you feel like you're going to, at a sea level, you feel like you're going all out, but you can last longer. You got to have always plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, and uh, uh, otherwise I have to finish as high as, high as possible if I can win or get in the podium, and then I also want to run hopefully my personal best. In races, you know, you never know. I, I can't run my own race because you're competing against others, and sometimes they go out so fast that they, uh, you know, you can't control it, but you can tuck them behind or stay a little bit, two, three feet behind them. But at the same token, if five, seven guys go, you have to go with them because if you want to challenge them to for the win, you know, if you let them go, three might survive, four might not. So you're going to go for the fourth place or you're going to go and mix it up and try to go for the win. So a lot of it is mental and tactics yeah, huh. and strategy. Huh. So when you know the, the top field and who they are, do you, uh, I don't know, do you study it like you would a baseball team, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm studying it and I know who, who they are. I would read about them a few nights before and what they have accomplished, what their times are and when did they accomplish. Is it six years ago? It doesn't, it's relevant. If it's, six weeks ago, four weeks ago, or three months ago, then they're definitely a big factor. So you want to see those times. But sometimes some people also don't want to show their cards, so they don't race as much. Uh, like, for example, Ryan Hall, who was training here before he left the group. Uh, he's racing, but he hasn't raced, I don't think, since the Olympic Games. So we'll see. You know, he's running Boston, so I don't know what kind of shape he's in, but he can, you know, he hasn't shown his card yet. My times in the marathon have been within two seconds, three seconds. Uh, I have run, I believe, eight within a minute of each other in different courses, different over London, Chicago, New York, Boston, Houston, whatever. They've been within probably 15, 20 seconds, all of them. Wow, that's amazing stuff. Huh. The Mammoth Track Club is great, it's led by Dina and Andrew, and you know, it's, it's what it running USA used to be. And then Terrence came and changed it to Mammoth Track Club, but, you know, if you do the history, you'll know who was there and how it started. <laughs> when I go to Boston or any race, I always run to win, getting the best out of myself. That means can be competitive and uh, I have to win it. <laughs>